Okay, sorry about that. Some The last chart that I wanted to show you is another Joan Elliott. And like I said, it is a different season, but I'm really enjoying this one. This is Enchanted Aurora. Oh, before I forget, the uh, fantasy style, the Lakeside Fantasy style is on a uh, Lavender Sunset. I believe that may be a... a a Witchelt Jobelin. I'm not positive on that, but it's Lavender Sunset. And um, that's one that I picked up at my, my local uh, Stitcher's Inc., which is a um, Stitcher's shop in Memphis. So Enchanted Aurora is a Joan Elliott chart. So Joan Elliott design. You can buy charts directly from her. And even the ones that come out in magazines, if you wait about six months or so, when she gets the copyright back, she in um, slight alterations rechart some of those, and um, they're just beautiful. Like there's one that I got the magazine for, and I'm so excited about it. And she just re-released it on a chart. She just posted it yesterday on her um, website and blog, and she's added background to it with trees and forest, and I think a little bit of village. And I love the alterations so much that I'm I'm gonna have to get that because. The original chart, I mean, it's great for the magazine, but the, the the newest charting is just so much better. But just to show you my progress on this one, oh, laundry, oh well. Um, this is uh, mm, mid, something mist, midnight mist, I don't know, I, I have to look up this fabric. The phone's ringing and my, my mind is just gone now. Uh, the needle minder, that's a picture needle minder of a mother teacup that I actually stitched and took a picture of. And that's another one that Greta made for me. A little bit of bling. Um, and then uh, the Lord of the Rings Evening Star, that is actually from Gina. Unique Boutique, Gina. Another one on Facebook, but she's also on Etsy. But so, my um, Enchanted Aurora, I have started on her skin, and her skin is uh, one over one, and the rest of it is pretty much what most of my things are. They, except for I think Rapunzel and, and Sleeping Beauty. Those are on 32 over two, but this is um, two over two on 28. And this is, again is Jobler. And almost every Twilight Mist. There you go. That's the fabric. Almost everything that I, I like to work on is uh, 28 count, two over two. That's that is my absolute preference. Although I am enjoying stitching over 32, I have to sit down and, and kind of put myself in a different mindset. I am doing. I don't think any of them are out here on my frames right now because my frames have the two that I just showed you. But I am doing some Heaven and Earth designs, and um, I really just need some enthusiasm for that. I'm very excited about the patterns. I'm very excited about what it's going to look like at the end, even though I have no idea where I'm going to put it or what I'm going to do with it. But um, it's just overwhelming. It. Uh, I don't mind stitching. I don't mind full coverage stitching. It's more holding it all in my hand at one time. That's that's the thing that I just haven't quite figured out. And I've been doing a Ruth Sanderson spring on um, 28 count, one over one. And I have been doing Ruth Sanderson summer, no, Ruth Sanderson summer is 28 count, one over one. Ruth Sanderson spring is 25 count, one over one. And uh, the reason that I did one of them on 25 and one of them on 28 is because in the end, they will end up being a similar size of a finished product, which will actually be a similar size to the dimensions kit that I did, which is actually on 18 count for the Woodland Enchantress and a similar size for um, what I am currently working on for the Fall Fairy. So they will all be you know, within a, an inch or a little bit less than an inch of each other. Um, when I'm completely done with them. And so that was the goal there. And I've got some other Heaven and Earth Designs, Ruth Sanderson kits that I am excited to do, like Fairy, Med Fairy Medley. 
I've got the fabric for that. I believe it's 28 and um, I just need to cut it down to size, get my husband to, to uh, cut and sand and drill me another frame and uh, then I'll be another one that I can just pick up and go because I've got Q-snaps, I've got hoops, although I am not using hoops much anymore. I mean, Q-snaps have kind of replaced hoops for me. I mean, it just, I can't, I can't get the tension like I, like I do with hoop snaps, and I can't get the tension like I do with my tapestry frames that my husband made. And so, um, that's what I'm going to do. What are you doing? You're all over the place, silly girl. Oh, and you saw my Raven Queen, which is the Raven that I'm making for myself. And in the same time that I purchased the Raven Queen for myself, it all started because my husband was actually in the store with me, and um, he saw a stitched version of the Raven by La Di Da up on the wall, and he said, I want that, stitch that. And I said, yes, please. And so my goal for this month is to really finish this one. So, and I totally messed up, and because I had put in a Q-snap before I, first time I'd ever pick up a Q-snap, put in a Q-snap, and I didn't, yeah, I put way too much fabric over the side. I believe it'll fit in the end, but I think it's going to come to like right here or something. So I am, you know, fingers crossed praying this one's going to work out. But so it is, um, just getting started. And, uh, this is week's dye work, Havana. And, um, I am not using the silks as called for. I am using the, um, week's dyed work and DMC 310 that was used in the sample that I saw in the store. So this is my non-opal opalescent thing, as almost everything else is. Um, but I am loving the variegated purples, and um, I think it's I think it's going to turn out really well. This is another uh, handmade by uh, Greta Needleminder. This is actually a wedding photo of of me and my husband. But so. Can you see the variegation? And this is, I believe, 30 count. And it's a Weeks Dyed Work Havana Linen. And 30 count is fine. Um, I am not doing it one over one. I am doing it two over, I'm not doing it one over two like it was written out. I am doing it two over two. And it's 30, not 32 count, but um, it's the first time, it's the only time I've ever worked on 30, and it, it seems to be working out pretty well, and this is my uh, lovely Ikea cart, my husband bought, it's the burnt orange color, I guess you can't really tell, I mean it looks kind of red from here, but it's the burnt orange color, and my husband, <laughs> yes, moo, my husband bought me a blanket to go with it, so when I'm stitching, I've got my stitchy blanket, and now my stitchy stand, and this is just my favorite accessory ever. This is also, uh, this is a scissor fob made by Greta. Love it. I had a second one. It had purple beads and another little scissor on the end of the scissor fob, like a, a decorative scissor on the end of the scissor fob. Would you get the shoe out of the way? Why? <laughs> but um, an enthusiastic two-year-old pulled too tightly, and so the, the, um, the thread broke, and so I need to need to fix that. So I need to find myself some more invisible plastic thread and try to loop, loop all of those beads back to together and, and see if I can get that done. But um, I've got plenty more projects that I'm working on, but that's all that I've got right in front of me right now, and it looks like I'm at 36 minutes, which is probably more than enough. And if you're still here, hey! Um, I hope I have slightly entertained and I hope that my projects are interesting. So I know I love watching everybody else's projects and I, um, I definitely would like to get some more out here and get some more, uh, videos put together and just, just sharing because that's something that I really enjoy. Uh, this Q snap cover my mother made for me and she did much better than I did in making some and I'm, I'm, that's something I'd like to, to figure out. I'd like to make some project bags. I'd like to make some Q-snap covers and get things together. But this little one is getting fidgety, and the other ones are starting to swarm around. So I will stop here and let you go. Have a great day, and good night. Bye.